Hi everybody. Hi, this is Sandy, Children and Family Worker at Christchurch United Reformed Church. And very shortly we'll be doing the Children and Family Live Worship. So, uh, before we start that, uh, there's some bits you might want to get ready if you're going to join in. So you might want some paper, some scissors, uh, some pens or pencils to write with. And what else? Mm, yeah, I think that's about it. So scissors, paper, another piece of paper, and some pens or pencils to write with. So while we're waiting to see if anybody else joins us, uh, I'm just going to remind you that you can find all the previous videos that I've made on our website. If you go to www.christchurchrayleigh.org.uk, if you go to forward slash children dash youth forward slash, uh, you can find quite a few bits there. There's also the virtual church page and the messy church page. So do have an investigate, see what you can find. And very exciting, we're going to be having a brand new shiny website soon. So we'll, I'm not quite sure when that's going to happen, but um, I'll keep you informed about that. In the meantime, you can't contact me via my families at um, email address. So do use my phone number. Um, or WhatsApp me or something like that and we can still keep in touch. So right now let's start our children and family worship and we're going to start by talking to God. So we're going to say, Dear God, you are the best. We come today to worship you with our hands and our feet, stamp your feet, our whole bodies, have a wiggle, be with us all now, wherever we are, as we come into your presence. Amen. Okay, so grab your piece of paper and your scissors. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the piece of paper and cut it in half. It doesn't have to be exact, so don't worry about drawing lines or getting rulers out. There we are. And then we can cut it in half again. And we can cut this piece of paper in half again. How many pieces of paper have you got now? Let's have a look. One, two, three. I've got four, so you might have four. All right, take one of them, cut it in half again. Cut all the others in half again. Now how many have we got? Quite a lot more, haven't we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight I've got. So if we did that again, how many would we have? Or oh, who's good at maths? See how many times you can cut your piece of paper up into pieces before you can't cut it anymore. Just going to do mine one last time here and then <clears throat> maybe you at home could keep going and see how many pieces you can make otherwise it's going to take me a long time to do all this so we don't want to keep you waiting so let's see how many have I got now do you think one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Got sixteen bits of paper. Now, if I did it again, I would have how many? Thirty-two. So if I did that again, then I would have sixty-four. I could keep going, couldn't I? I could keep cutting until I've got tiny, tiny little squares. So we're going to talk about why we did that a bit later on. So in the meantime, we're going to get our other piece of paper. And we're going to draw the story together. If you're following 
on my script at home, you will see this asterisk. And each time you see an asterisk, you can draw a part of the story with me. So I'm going to get my big black pen. I cheated a bit earlier on and did some drawing for myself to copy. It makes it easier. So I'll use that bit there. Okay, just sorting myself out. So there we go. Right. So this story is from Matthew 28, verses 16 to 20. And Jesus' eleven disciples were on their way to Galilee. So we're going to draw. Let's draw the eleven disciples. I'm just going to do simple representations of people here. You can do much better figures than me, I'm sure, at home. See, have we got 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So the eleven disciples were on their way to Galilee. Jesus had told them to meet him on a mountain there, and that's where they were heading. So let's draw the mountain. As they approached the mountain, they saw Jesus standing there. Let's draw Jesus. And many of them worshipped him. So he's going to say, Hi, hello, everybody, here I am. And many of them worshipped him. But others doubted. They weren't really sure that it was Jesus. Yeah, see, I've done some question marks to show that they're doubting. Jesus came to them all and said, I have been given power in heaven and on earth. So go from here and tell people about God. Make disciples all over the world. Oh, I'm not very good at drawing this bit. Let's see what we can do. I mean, I'm guessing because my geography is really bad. Right, there's the world, okay? That's my version of the world. I'm sure you could do better. Baptise people in the name of God the Father. So I'm going to do a triangle here. So we're going to say God in the middle. The Father. The Son. And God the Holy Spirit. Share with them all that I have taught you and help them to obey my commandments. And remember, I will always be with you until the very end of time. I'm just going to draw a clock. the end of time so we're going to put a cross for it so let's just read through that again and see what we've got Jesus is 11